Hey, what's up, YouTube? Simon Food Surfer here. Yes, welcome back to the channel, guys. I know it's been a little while, but we're back with a new video. Uh, today, guys, we're actually gonna be trying to look for the Aloha Spirit. So we're gonna be hitting up two different spots. The first one is actually subscriber requested. We're gonna be hitting up Sweets Hawaiian Grill. And then our second location is a secret, so stay tuned for that. Uh, just a little fun fact for you guys. Uh, Sweets Hawaiian Grill was actually my first job I've ever had. As a janitor, I started sweeping the floors. And then I started working cashier and then eventually they taught me how to cook. So it's actually where I found my passion for food. So I'm excited to take you guys there. We're going to be talking to the cook and I will see you guys there. Hey, all right, guys. Uh, welcome to our first location. We're over here at Sweet Hawaiian Grill. We're going to head inside. I'm going to throw a couple questions at the chef. Uh, today they got a special going on that's uh, called a poke bowl. So yeah, let's get inside. And remember, safety first. So all right, let's go. All right, guys, so we're over here with Oh My Crichton right now. We're gonna ask her a couple questions about Sweets Hawaiian Grill. My first question is gonna have to be, what makes your restaurant unique from all the, all the other restaurants around here? Well, I think the unique thing about Sweets is we've now been in operation for 28 years. So that's a huge um, milestone, I'd say, in a Polynesian owned business here in Utah, here in America. I was started by my parents, um, my dad, Al Crichton, and my mom, her name is Sweet Crichton. Um, they moved us here to Utah in 1992, and they opened this store. It was first a store, a Polynesian store, when we sold hot food on the side. So we opened that up in 1994. Transitioned into a full-on restaurant, because we found out, you know, restaurant makes more money. <laughs> That's why we, we just do food here now. So um, I think that's the most unique thing about sweets is the longevity of the business. Plus it's also, I, I like to say that like, this is a place of like aloha and um, culture and, and um, just a cool spot to have here in Provo, Utah. So my second question would have to be, uh, why sweets? Uh, how, how, what made you guys think of the name sweets? So the name Sweets is from our mom. Our mom's name is Sweet, and my dad opened the shop and named it after her. Um, her full name is actually Sweet Voice, Koloma uh, Tangi Kreitzen. She's a, she's a Tongan, and my dad is Samoan. And she was born in Tonga, raised in Fiji, and then Samoa, and then made her way to Hawaii, where she met my father. Uh, my last question would have to be, if you could choose one dish or plate here that you would say represents Sweets Island Grill, what would it be? I think Sweets is most known for lately is our poke bowls. They have been taken off. Um, they've been really popular lately. Uh, we do a spicy ahi tuna poke bowl and a sweet ahi tuna bowl. For as long as we've been open, we have been doing two kinds of plates which have been very helpful in like spreading the awareness of Polynesian cuisine. We've done a Polynesian plate which consists of you know your fali fukalo and your palusami. Uh, we do the kale mamoe, sapasui and sosisi. That's been a staple of ours since day one and then we've also introduced the Hawaiian style barbecue uh, mixed plates like kalua pig, teriyaki chicken and kalbi ribs. So I think those two plates Actually, those three things kind of encompass what Sweets is all about. You've got your poke bowls, your mixed plates, and your Polynesian plate lunch. Yes, please like and subscribe, Samoan Food Surfer. All right. Straight out of Utah. <laughs> hey, all right, guys, so here we are with our food. Uh, we got us a three meat plate and uh, their poke bowl to try. Tell them what happened. Man, I'm so mad. <laughs> Dude, uh, I was just chilling. I was trying to open the plates up. Luckily, the rest of the food survived, but the plate hit the floor and a spare rib and a freaking teriyaki chicken fell out. So we got teriyaki chicken, some chow mein noodles, rice, their mac salad. And look at this fat rib, man. Oh, and some katsu chicken. And go ribs first. Mmm. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> of course, the max out. If you guys haven't seen the other um, the other Polynesian videos, but I guess they're special today on Saturdays. Is the people? So right here we got the poke bowl. This is their Saturday special. So we got some, uh, what's it called? Uh, ahi tuna, fresh fish. So we got their spicy and their sweet. <laughs> Damn, that's some good poke, man. I mean, what? Poke. Don't come here and order poke. Trust me, you're not gonna like what you get, all right? Make sure you pronounce it right. It's poke. Poke. <laughs> mm. Man, you should try this. But good thing I don't pay you to eat, you know, I pay you to record, so. <laughs> you don't get none, bro. <laughs> I don't get paid, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get paid at all. <laughs> all right, guys, so, yeah, that's our review for the first place. Not really a review, but you know, we're out here trying to look for the Aloha spirit. So if you guys are ever in town, consider coming to check it out. All right, we'll see you guys at our next spot. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're over here at uh, Side of Aloha. Good thing we made it on time. They're closing right now. We did get our order, so we're just gonna grab our order and then go outside and try it out. All right, so I got me uh, two plates to try. I got me the soy sweet pork bowl or the soy sweet steak plate. And then I got me the the lil, lil, uh, koi pork. Hopefully I didn't slaughter that. All right, so we're just gonna dive in and try the sweet steak pork. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's bomb. And just so you guys know, these guys are actually from Hawaii. And shout out to my boy, uh, Ryan, for recommending Side of Aloha. Mahalo, cuz. Steak is cooked very well. We got some rice and, of course, always the famous mac salad on the side. And the presentation of the plate looks good, man. Remember, you eat with your eyes first, you know? All right, that's fine. Hop into the other plate. And then this is the lily koi pork. Man, and my shout out to my dude, the cook in there. Man, that dude is like straight up swole. Looks like he's been eating this plate like his whole life. The the coronavirus can't catch that guy. That guy catches the coronavirus. <laughs> Max salad, look at that garnish. Got some sesame seeds on top. And this is a new touch. Look at this, their Max salad has olives in it. So that's new. You guys are wondering how Polynesians get so big and how they compete with like top tier athletes. It's the grub, bro. It's the food. It's like straight up 100% protein and another 100% uh, carbs. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna knock out this plate and to you guys, peace and love, baby. Until we eat again, Simon Food Suffer, out. Hey, uh, this is just a quick uh, Hawaiian joke for all my Hawaiians out there. Uh, what does Winnie the Pooh call his grandma? Huh? Pooh Nanny. <laughs> <Family> friendly. <laughs>